Father, as we continue in your presence, please help us as we pray to put aside our worldly thoughts and to focus on you and to allow your Holy Spirit to dwell within us. We are thankful that we are not alone, but part of your mighty church, and as such motivated in our prayers to intercede for others. We will pray for the world, our own country, our own church here at HT and ourselves. I will allow a short pause between each section to allow time for your own thoughts and prayers, starting with, in Jesus' name we pray. Lord, as we think about the world, we thank you that you, the risen Lord, reign supreme over all things. Help us not to despair when we see and read about all the injustice and wrongdoing in the world and encourage us to persevere in prayer, to bring comfort and help to all those in oppression. We think particularly of those persecuted Uyghurs in northwestern China. We think of those fearful on the borders of Ukraine and Russia. We pray for all those in countries, countries where famine and hunger are present. And we pray for God's hand in resolving conflicts that prevent humanitarian aid reaching those in need. We lastly pray for a fair and equitable rollout of the vaccines to combat COVID-19 across the world. In Jesus' name we pray. We now focus on our own country. We are thankful that lockdown is easing and we again have an opportunity to meet family and friends. We thank you too for all those who have tirelessly served our country in this epidemic. Help us all to have this same spirit of service to others. Lord, it is encouraging when we read and see all the positive things that Prince Philip did with his life in his dedication to this country and the Commonwealth. Help those editors in all our forms of media and communications, including between ourselves, to be mindful and considerate of others in what we say and do so as to encourage our country to be more positive and to build people up rather than pull them down. In Jesus' name we pray. We now focus on our own church here at HT. We thank you again for the appointment of Stuart Browning as our new vicar and pray for him and Yana as he prepares for this. We pray for the new Alpha Course starting on Tuesday the 27th of April and please by your Holy Spirit prompt those to join who may be wavering on whether to attend. We pray for the restarting of Children's Church on site every fortnight at the beginning of May and pray that those children and leaders alike would have an enjoyable time. We also pray for all the others in leadership within the community of HT. In Jesus' name we pray. We lastly focus on ourselves. Through the many challenges of the last year, we thank you for our own newfound freedoms as lockdown eases. We pray for those known to us who are struggling in body, mind and spirit. Lord, show your love and compassion to help heal and restore them to full health. Lord, lastly, encourage us in our prayers. Even when our prayers don't seem to be answered, we can be sure that you listen and hear us. We ask anything we can ask anything in your name. We are grateful that you have a plan for our lives and that asking in prayer is a step towards finding our purpose in him. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Accept all these prayers in your mighty name, Jesus. Amen. Well, in uh, just a few minutes, we'll have our final song of worship together. But before we do that, let's take a few minutes to process a little bit more um, and process with God some of what Stu's been talking about. Um, I don't know about you, but that that picture of saying, you know, Lord, this one's this one's for you. Um, it's such a helpful one. It's such a good picture of what it means to live our lives to please God, um, not to impress other people or feel good about ourselves, um, but to please him. And so what I think we should do is just take a few minutes to look ahead to this week, um, perhaps think through things that you've got coming up and um, bring to God 
any things in particular that you know might be a challenge, um, particularly a challenge to please God in, maybe um, a meeting that it will be difficult to navigate in a way that honors God, or um, maybe another week of caring for a family member when no one else sees. Um, and just bring these things to God and say, you know what, Lord, this one's for you. Um, and I'll pray for us as we do that. Will you pray with me? Father, we thank you so much for your great, great love for us. We thank you that your love surrounds us and upholds us, that it goes before us, it comes behind us, it hems us in on every side. And Father, I pray now in the name of Jesus that you would send your Holy Spirit on each and every one of us. Come, Holy Spirit. We bring ourselves to you again this morning. All our lives, but we bring you in particular this week ahead of us. We bring you the challenges it poses, the decisions we have to make, the perseverance we need. Just take a minute and bring any particular thing that you want to to the Lord. And tell him in your heart, Lord, this one's for you. This sacrificial decision, this one's for you. This extra week of working hard, this one's for you. Lord, we want to say again this morning, we want our lives to honor you. We want to please you. Not just this week, but all our lives. We want our lives to please you. We pray that you would strengthen our hand as we live for you and your promises. We thank you so much for this promise of reward in heaven. We, pr we thank you, Father, that you promise that none of this will be in vain. None of our costly decisions, none of the sacrifices we make for you will be a waste. That you see it all, you see what is done in secret. All the things that go unnoticed or unapplauded in this life, you see it all. And you will reward us according to your goodness and your kindness and your justice. And we thank you, Lord, for this promise. And we pray that it would strengthen our hand. Would you strengthen our hand again today to obey you, to love you, to live faithfully for you in this life? Come by your Holy Spirit to strengthen our hand. We admit again today that we need you. Would you fill us with your strength? and with your joy again today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, the worship team is gonna lead us in one final song. And if you would normally give um, during the offering song, if we were in the building, uh, remember way back then, um, you can still do that. Uh, don't forget the, the details for how to give will be on the screen, but let's worship together now. Oh 
Well, we've come to the end of our service this morning. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Don't forget, Sunday coffee starts in just a few minutes. Join us for that. Also, don't forget to keep your hands on Finding Faith. If you haven't already, you can buy it on our website and hear more stories like Matt's. Uh, as we finish, let me pray for us and ask for God's blessing. Father, we thank you so much that as we go into this next week, this next month, the rest of this year, that we don't go alone, that you've promised that you will be with us even to the end of the age. And we pray that you'd fill us with your spirit afresh this morning. We thank you as well that we go together, that you've given us one another. We thank you for the chance to be together this morning. And we ask that the blessing of God, who is almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit would rest upon us now and remain with us always. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a wonderful week, and we will see you next Sunday.